Hello YouTube, today we are going to be doing an installation of a new graphics card, the GTX 950. It's going to be a steady upgrade from my old graphics card, the GT 730 V2, which in all honesty is a very good graphics card, but it's definitely a starting graphics card. If you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, put that graphics card in your computer and you can run most games at probably around 30 FPS. And it runs them on some pretty good settings as the poster falls off the wall. Yeah, it's it's a good graphics card. It makes for a good rig. Um, I'd recommend spending more money on everything else and then upgrading your graphics card later. But enough babbling, let's just get into it. Alright, here's my computer. <clears throat> Same computer that I installed the uh, hard drive in a little while back. Now, I'm just going to take the uh, take this side panel off, which I already have the uh, old GT730 in here, and that was pretty much just plug and play, but now we got to take it out. Keep both of these handy. Probably set them up here. Alright. There she is. What a beautiful sight for sore eyes. Graphics card, the old one is right here, and that's the GT730 V2. Now, that thing's got GDDR5 memory in it, VRAM, which is the equivalent of what's going in it now. The only difference is, is this has more RAM in it than the one I'm putting in it. So that's a sad, sad situation, and I wish EVGA hadn't have done that, or not EVGA, but NVIDIA. And so push down on this lever here, and then I believe we just lift it, and it comes right out. All that is to it, that little white lever there that I push down on, you push it down and pull the card up, and it comes right out. Now that old card's out, and now... We've got the big boy. Now this thing is mega massive compared to what was just in here. And I hope to God that it'll fit. It'll be by the hair of my chinny chin chin if it fits. So, hope to God it fits. I'll know in just a minute if it fits. Wow, that's a big card. Man. Boy, I don't know. Let's take and pull the uh, packaging off of it. I did not anticipate it was going to be this large. I hope to God it fits in this case. If it doesn't, I gotta get rid of it. Alright, now, stay grounded to the case. We're working on carpet and everything else. So, let's see. Wow, that's gonna be snug as balls. If I can even get it in. Okay. That's the first problem. Just gotta get that out of the way. I'm going to just unplug these wireless wires. There we go. God, I, it's supposed to fit. should fit. And I think it would fit if this damn bit was out of the way here. God, I'd hate to tear my case off like that, but you know what? For the greater good, I might just have to do it. Because that's not big enough to fit through. Alright, give me a second. I'm going to go get some uh, side cutters. Meanwhile, I'll just set this here on some anti-static wrapping. These cool-ass stickers also came in the box. EVGA Enthusiast built. Looks really cool. I'm a big fan of EVGA. There's the box that came with it. And then here's this gnarly-ass poster. That was really nice of EVGA to include. And then over here, we also got this bad boy here. Let's try and get it out. That there which converts two different kinds of power into power for the graphics card which you can't see right now because it's in the back of my computer there there is a DVI to VGA converter which is how this screen here is running off of so that's all pretty cool that they include that and you don't have to go out and buy it yourself alright everybody after some hair tearing out I got the graphics card in it's right there and it's lined up with my PCIe slot inside the drive bays over here on the side are just in the way not to mention the uh, all the cords that run out of the front here that are for the buttons up front here yeah those are in the way too so it wouldn't snap into place well had to cut all this out of the way and push this tab down which locks this into place well now it doesn't exactly stay in but the card is working after I plugged this in and uh, everything's plugged in my YLAN card is plugged in everything's plugged in now everything should hopefully work now all the fans are turning, everything's on, it all looks good. Now hopefully the card works. Fans on the card are working, and I'm just praying to God there's nothing wrong with it. We'll go see. Alright, we're back, and uh, I just booted on the computer, and 
started uh, GeForce Experience, and everything seems to be working. I'm plugged into the graphics card right now, and it seems to be working, and I uh, open this up, and we'll see what it says for my rig. Oh, it has recognized that it is a 950. Okay. Now, let's download this driver and see if it installed. Oh, there it goes. Yep. All right. I'll see you guys when this installs. All right. My video decided it was going to cut out. So here we are now. And it's installing the new driver. All right. And there we are. Installation complete. Now it should operate entirely as though it is um, a GTX 950. It should have installed that way. I think the drivers are universal anyway between all of the uh, NVIDIA cards, but it should be good now. Hopefully everything works. So I'll get some test play on and we'll play here after this. But thank you everybody for watching. Um, if you like the video, like the video. And then uh, if you want to see more, subscribe. I'll be doing more tutorials on things that I find interesting and uh, video games and gaming on my channel. So just go to the link in the description and that will be my channel and there you can find it. So thank you again everybody for watching and have a great day.